And welcome to our episode of Sketchbook Sundays. Welcome, you guys. I'm so glad you're here. And you see, you see the title. You know what we're doing today? We're going to be painting in acrylics. And I'm going to show you how to go through this portrait step by step. So let's get started. Yes, indeed. And we're back. Welcome, everybody. How's everybody doing? Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Let me put my, my phone on mute every time. I swear it's like Murphy's Law. Every time I go live, somebody wants to call. So let's kind of go over the materials of what we're going to be doing today. You guys know I love, we're going to be doing something different. Usually I don't do acrylic paintings in my sketchbook. But today we're going to be doing it on this sketchbook Sunday. I'm going to do it in the sketchbook. It's going to be super exciting. I'm excited about it. Uh, I, I hope you are too. Um, so I'm using a, an 11 by 14 um, heavy duty kind of multimedia sketchbook. I have my water off to the side. And then I have like a myriad of like. I don't even know what you want to call it, like brushes and paintings and stuff like that. Um, and while we're kind of like rolling through, we have a lot of new announcements and a lot of new things that we're going to be doing um, basically for the Discord and just all these things. There's so many fun updates that's going to be happening. But let's go over the materials really quickly. If you happen to be new here, welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome if you just subscribed. I'm so happy to see you and you can put down in the in the chat or in the replay hashtag replay crew and if you have any questions feel free to post them so i'm just using a different myriad of different brushes right and i'm going to use different sizes because this is i'm using brushes that are proportionate to the type of painting that i'm pretty much going to do okay so that's pretty much what we're doing with that right um and then I have also have some colored pencils, my favorite color erase pencils, as well as um, some micron pens and stuff like that. You can see if you don't know what a micron pen is, but it's like a really, really popular pen. And not that, you know, I'm all about the hype, but I really like a pen. It's like I, I use it so much, you can see that the ink is kind of worn off of it. But Micron pens are basically, they come in different nib sizes, different types, and um, you, it has archival ink, meaning that once you kind of put it down and all that, it doesn't move. So you could put water medium on top, like you could paint on top of it and stuff like that. So I'm going to use that to do kind of like my outlines and whatever. And as you guys know, the acrylic, acrylic, right? So we're using acrylic paint today. Um, here's just some of the colors. I already have colors in my palette. Guess what, you guys? I got a new palette. Not a new palette, but it's a palette I haven't found or I haven't seen in quite some time. So I wanted to, like, show you guys that. And let me turn the brightness down in this um, thing really quickly. So I feel like it's way too um, light, way too bright. Okay, so here's my Windsor & Newton. This is one of my favorite brands for, I use their oil paint as well as their acrylics. It's pretty good. It's good for like student grade and stuff like that. It's really, really good as far as that goes. And so I'm going to use that in the yellow ochre. And then I have some white. And then I'm going to, the same suspects. Usually I have uh, like a list of the type of paints or the, or the colors of the palette. I usually have a list of it in the description box of every single video. And then I'm gonna be using my regular Zagala uh, Liquitex Basics Acrylics. I love this paint. I've been using it for years and years, quite a long time. It's affordable. It comes in like different colors and stuff like that. So yeah, I this is my jam. I mean, everybody doesn't like it, but I do. And then I have my Posca pins off to the side. 
and all the things. And I'm only going to use yellow and red today because uh, of the scarf. If you happen to see the reference photo, if you haven't seen the reference photo, you can check it out in our Discord. Our Discord, um, if you happen to be pun the replay, it'll be in the description. If you're here live with us in the chat, it will be in the chat, the Discord. And you can join the Discord because we have some fun activities going on. Oh, and I forgot to talk all about that. But yeah, I'm going to use some of this like craft paint too. I might use some of this craft paint. I don't even know. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, do I really want that craft paint? I don't know, sis. I don't, I mean, craft paint isn't my favorite, but I know it's easily accessible. It's affordable. It's super cheap. Um, it comes in a variety of different colors. Um, so I feel like it's good for like using, especially for the tutorials. I could use it for every single person and stuff like that. And then I have my spray bottle. So I got it. So I could be able to spray things. And, and, and I also have my GAC, my GAC 100. This is optional. You don't really need this. And like the different colors that I'm using for my acrylic paint, you don't really need that either. This is definitely optional. I love Golden's products. Golden has a line of like mediums and... I don't, I don't know what, what's the other word. I don't know what to call it, but like mediums, they have a line of mediums that's like super dope that I really, really like. And, um, I love the GAC and then it has another one that, and this is basically to blend your paint without it like stripping away the color and all of that, especially using like, um, but that's more, a little more expensive. So don't really worry about that. That's just for my own personal use at this point. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, okay? But speaking of, like, the fun activities that's going to be going on, yes, indeed, we have, we're going to be doing some art submissions. So if you happen to be, whether you're on a replay or wherever you are around the world, even if you're watching live, we're going to be taking art submissions. And at the end of our live stream today, we will... Go through our Discord, through the art submission channel in Discord, and we will pick out some beautiful, some of you guys, beautiful pieces of art, and we will feature it right here on the channel at the end of the live stream. So if you guys want to get in on that, the, the links are in the chat, and of course, the links will still be in the description box if you want to be able to do that. All right, so... We did all the spiel. I got to tell y'all about the supplies and stuff because people be asking me that stuff all the time. And then I have my bottle of water off to the side where you won't be able to see that. And last but not least, last but not least, sis, the palette. Shoo. Like, I feel like you got to have like a <laughs> drum roll. Okay, you got to have the palette. This is the palette. This is, I love this palette so, so much. Let me turn down the, the blinding, uh, what's the name? So this is Masterson Stay Wet Palette. Everybody doesn't like this palette, but I like the palette. I have the small one. I wanted to get the big one, but you know, it is what it is. And boom, you see, I've already been painting with it. It comes in a whole, like, um, I don't even know how to explain it, but it's like a, and basically, it does what it says. It keeps your paint wet for a very long time. I've been using this same palette for the last three, four weeks, and it's still wet. Look, you see it? Still shiny, still wet. So you can clearly see it works. It has a little pad at the bottom. I don't want to mess up my nails. But it has a little pad at the bottom. See, the pad is all worn out. So you know I've been using it. And I had lost it. But when I moved recently, I was able to find it again, which was like super duper exciting, okay? So we're going to be using that today. I'm going to put it over here to the side, I, which means I already have my palette like already together what I want to do. I got white. I got a little bit of purple. Everything is still moist and wet. I got some yellow. I got the this, the, the that, and I got all sorts of colors going on up in here. Okay, but use whatever colors you want to use if you happen to be painting along with us. Or you're using the prompt word, you guys. If you're using the cupcake, that's the prompt word for today. If you're using cupcake and you're going to interpret this painting, bake 
based off of that prompt word, you can use whatever palette you want to use, okay? It's whatever it's whatever you want to do. It's your world. We just living in it. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, all right. So I'm going to turn my brightness up just a smidge. And I got my small, small brush. It's a really, really small brush. Because I'm going to start off with the eyes. That's my preference. I really enjoy starting off with the eyes first. And really, I'm going to switch over to like a thinner brush because I want to be able to get into the eyes and do all the things. As you guys know, I tell you all the time, the I'm going to start with the whites of the eyes, the eyes of the the I can't even talk about it. <laughs> it's like my brain was like on repeat, like the eyes are not white. <laughs> Holy cannoli, I can't. Yes. <laughs> Oh man, that is so crazy. And um, in case you guys have any questions, go ahead and put them in the chizat, and I will pop in and try to answer any questions as, much, as best I can. As soon as I can, I just wanted to jump in. So I'm gonna spray a little bit. I don't really need to spray it. When you have this sort of palette, it keeps it wet for a very long time. So you really don't need to spray it. The only thing you need to do is make sure that the pad underneath stays wet. Anyway, so like I was saying, um, the whites of the eyes are not really white, as I tell y'all all the time. So I'm going to start out with like a gray, purple, yada, yada, yada. And I don't have a lot of room for you guys to be able to see my full palette, but we shall, we shall, uh, whatever. Oh, I do have some gray here, though. So you could use just straight, like if you have straight up gray. You can use straight up gray if you want to. And there you go. So I'm going to start out with the left eye because I'm right-handed. So make it make sense, right? Work. You got to work uh, smarter, not harder. That's, what, that's my motto. But yeah, happy Sunday. I'm so glad to be here with you guys today. I know I've kind of been, like, I haven't been uploading as much as I wanted to upload um, over the last couple of weeks. But me and V, um, if you don't know who Vanessa is, that is my moderator slash partner, business partner. And, um, yeah, we've been planning a lot of fun things for you guys. And I wanted it to be, you know what I mean? I keep trying to like brush this off, but it's like uh <laughs> this is part of her thing. This is part of her what's the thing. Yeah, but we've been planning a lot of fun things for you guys. So that's why I haven't got a chance to really like get in there and do a lot of things like I would like to do. You know what I'm saying? And hi, everybody in the Chizza. Welcome to the stream today. I'm so glad you guys are here. So, yeah, we've been... Um, and I'm also looking at my reference photo. Again, the, the reference photo is in the Discord, guys. So, if you want that... I have like a darker color here, but I don't know what happened to it. So I'm going to get some of this blue and I'm going to mix in um, a little bit of whatever you call it. A little bit of whatchamacallit. I'm going to mix in a little bit of blue. But yeah, we've been like doing, taking our time and kind of um, planning out different things that we want to do, thinking about the strategy of what we want to do going forward, like with the channel 
if you guys don't know, we on the road to, to basically 2,000 sub subs. We just hit 1,900. So thank you so, so much to you guys for being there and doing your thing. Now, when you're using paper, it's it's going to act different than if you're using watercolor for paper because watercolors and gouache is kind of meant for paper versus acrylic is not necessarily meant for paper. So you got to make sure you're constantly kind of dipping your brush. In, and I don't mean like douse your brush. <laughs> I don't mean douse your brush, uh, sis. I mean just dip, 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 and go. That's what I mean. <clears throat> I just thought I might as well get the eyes out of the way while I could. What colors do you mix to make black? <clears throat> so usually, um, my regular Zagula colors that I mix to make black is, you can see it right here, like, um, I use a ultramarine, which is a blue. That's a blue color. And if you mix it with any brown... It's depending on how much blue you put in there, it's going to instantly make it black. Instantly make it black. So the more uh, blue you add in, the more the blacker it will get. You see that? So it's starting to get darker and darker and darker. Or, I mean, another favorite that I like to use is like the, um, I use like a purple. Like dioxine, di dioxazine purple is like one of my favorites too. That I really love. And there you go. And that's just like the blocking stage anyway. So I'm going to take some uh, thing right here. Turn out the music. And I'm going to finish going in with that gray. And with that same dark color, the... Um, burnt sienna or the brown and the blue, you can make gray. You know, you just add a little bit of white, you make the gray. You can make a lot of different variations of color from that that particular um <clears throat> that particular mixture. I don't know why, but out of all the things that I've mixed during my art, that's like one of my favorite mixes that was one of my favorites yes indeed turn up the music I was doing a lot I, I started exercising what y'all been doing since I've been going, I started doing some exercising. I forgot how opaque, um,
That tells you how much I I haven't painted in acrylics in a while. Besides my painting that I'm kind of working on in the background somewhere. So I'm gonna wash this out. And I forgot how opaque it truly was. All right, so I'm gonna put a little bit of a, like a red, or I don't know how to explain it, but it's like, it's like a pink red. It's still kind of wet, but it's kind of drying up because I opened my palette. So now it wants to act up. So I'm gonna add a little bit of um, Quinacridone Magenta, my favorite color in the whole wide world, which is really a mixture it's like a pink red, and it's like the perfect red as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> yeah, I already know. Like, I use pink on everything, for real. <laughs> I swear I do. <laughs> like, she used pink on everything. No, but this is a good color, for real. I'm not even going to lie to you. I like that. Or you can use, like, a alizarin crimson. That's a really good pink color, too. That I really, really like. Okay, I'm going to add. Smidge of this purple. And then some whites. You know, a good trick with learning, like, your colors and stuff, too, is to write down your recipes. Because I know when I first started learning how to do color, I would find a good color. And I would be like, oh, snap. I really need to get in there. And write down these recipes. I'd be like, shit, because I don't remember. You know what I mean? All right, so we're going to put that in the white of the eye. I mean, the corner of the eye. Because, you know, you have the little tear duct right here. And we are doing a semi-realistic uh, thing. That's great. I need to um, do some good exercise. Yes, indeed. We goes in the house. What's popping? That's great. I need to do some good exercise channel. They got me on. Um, what? I don't think. Oh, oh, it was that a medication for diabetes? And I need in house workout. It's too hot to be outside. I've lost ten pounds. So, oh, okay. Yay! That's what I'm talking about. Um, go, follow Grow, Grow with Joe, Grow with Joe. Grow with Joe is really, really good. Because it's like low pressure kind of working out and stuff like that. It's low, low pressure. And she has all sorts of, like, exercises on her channel where you can, like, it's dance party. And she has, like, popular music. I just did one. She did. She had, like, a diz uh, a Dizzo. <laughs> she had a Dizzo. She had a, she had a Lizzo dance party. So I just did that one. That was super good. It was so good, y'all. So good. That Lizzo dance party. Like, stop playing. Yes, I love grow. Oh, you you follow her too, B? Grow with Joe. Yes, I love grow with Joe. I just found her channel, like literally two weeks ago, and I've been hooked. Okay, I've been hooked, and I'm a big girl, so, and I'm not, you know, 22 no more, busting moves, break it down, break it down in the club and all that no more. So that was good for me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right. So I'm going to work on, I'm going to get into, what does she have? She has quite a dark makeup on, but she has some like dark creases in her eye too. So I'm going to put, hmm. The thing with paper, too, is, like, unforgiving, so you definitely want to be careful. Yeah, 
you definitely want to be careful. I'm using the same color to kind of go underneath her nose. Turn down the music. Turn down the light. I ran out of ac acrylic paper. I'm going to Walmart to get some tonight. I'm going to do the archive. Okay. Yes, indeed. I didn't know Walmart had. You know what? I want to start doing on the channel, y'all. And I don't know whether y'all ready for it or not, but I wanted to do start doing like some, um, like going to different stores, seeing whether you can get like, how is the budget kind of art supplies at these different places? That's kind of where I'm at with it. Like, how is the budget kind of thing? You know what I mean? Like art in these different places. That's what I was kind of thinking about for real. Turn up the music. Turn down the lights. All right, hopefully I don't get copyright. <laughs> mm. I'm just blocking in this dark color to go on her eyebrow. I don't want it to be anything too deep. We're not trying to make it deep. I just put in the hairs to kind of make it make sense. You know what I mean? So it makes sense. For my eye, just to please my eye. Like, oh, you actually put some hairs in there? But well, we're going to have to go back in and actually put um, the hairs after this. Walmart got all the love. All the Oh, you said Walmart. Walmart got, got it all. They have big acrylic paper for $12 and sketch pads for $5. Really? I would have never known that. I would have never, ever known that. But I definitely want to go out there and, like, you know what I mean? Like, try that. Like, that's something I would definitely be like, oh, okay. I'm with it. I need to try it. We need to do that. All right, I'm going to put some dark color up under. She has a scarf. I, again, if, if you don't have the reference photo, go get it. It's on Discord. In our paint with me channel. What is it? Paint my no, it's paint my photo in our paint with paint my photo channel on Discord. Yes, we've been making up a lot of different channels on Discord. And in the paint my photo Discord. Now let me put this in really quickly. So in the Paint My Photo Discord, you can um, submit your own photos as well. Like if you want me to be able to paint you, I'm always looking for reference photos. I'm always looking for like different materials. I'm always scouring the land, looking for places to be able to paint, uh, people to be able to paint. Because, you know, painting people is my jam, right? So I'm always looking for that. So you can submit your photo there, or if you have an, a cute photo that you found on Pinterest or wherever, or maybe you took the photo, like you have a selfie of somebody you thought was pretty or whatever, you can put it in there as well. But I'm going to be putting all of our reference photos in there, and you guys can use it for your own personal use and paint them and do all the things. So I think that's going to be exciting. Turn down the music. Turn down the lights. 
So, yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> Y'all can hear all sorts of craziness going on in my house. All right, so I'm going to use this flat brush. I don't know whether I'm going to use this or not, but we're going to try it. And we're going to use it anyway. Yeah. I wet the flat brush, and I'm going to get, ooh, I don't feel like I really need to dry it right now because it's not like gouache or anything where it takes a little bit longer. It's paper, so it's going to dry almost instantly because acrylic wants to dry, literally. Like, if you stare at acrylic too long, it wants to dry. <laughs> I'm not explaining. It. It's just, just like... Okay, ma'am. We're dry. Boom. There you go. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to mix a little bit of the regular suspects over here. Um, I'm going to actually put some of this color out, too. Turn down the music. Turn up the light. And I'll actually put some of this coral up in here, too. That's a good way to kind of lighten that color up. Let me show y'all what I'm talking about. That's a good way to lighten that color up. Put some coral in there. That kind of gave it a whole nother color altogether. It's so fascinating the different ranges of colors you can get. If you push one side of the spectrum or another, it could it's it's really insane. Exactly, dry like the Sahara Desert. <laughs> oh man, I cannot. Now, even though acrylic usually doesn't, how do I explain it? It doesn't, it doesn't shift too much in color, even when it dries, but it does get darker. So if you want it to be a certain tone, you like, you don't, you don't want your, your person to be too dark. Make sure you make it a shade lighter then, because if you make it too dark, it'll end up, I mean, if you, if you, if you, Mix the color exactly as the person. It will end up being too dark when it actually dries. That's what she's trying to say. <laughs> okay. And I don't know why my volume has decided to leave the building, but okay. I got white on here though. All right, so I'm gonna put. I'm gonna make this really wet because I don't want. Um. I don't want this to dry too quickly and. So I did like a mid-tone um, brown. And I also want I don't want any harsh lines. So I'm this is what I've decided to go with. Now usually I would do it in different zones of the face and stuff like that. But I'm not gonna do that with this because of the fact that um this is paper so i don't trust that the paper won't do some sort of craziness on me so i need this to kind of get its life together so we're gonna go with like a solid tone of color and then we're gonna go back on top with uh all the things that we need you know what i'm saying 
And you see it's like super opaque, so you're going to get all of these different tones anyway. I mean, you're going to get some good, good, good coverage unless you're using like a... Unless you're using like a... What do you call it? Uh, the craft paint. Craft paint is going to be totally different. I added a little bit of that coral color, so that's going to give me this kind of whatever. It's fine. If you happen to mix like several different colors at the same time, you need to really work quickly to kind of blend all at one time, right? That's super duper important for you to kind of blend it all at one time. Like if I wanted to blend this hot mess like right there in the forehead, I'm going to squeeze off the excess off my brush. And then I'm just going to dab it, dab it, dab it, boom, boom, boom. And there you go. Shwala, we have actually blended that hot mess out somewhat. With, so you're not, you don't, you don't want to get like a harsh line, right? But we want, we want to still kind of make it seem like they have a forehead. And see, it's already almost dry. Like it's ridiculous. Look at this. It's dry. <laughs> it is literally freaking dry. Like, what is happening? So see. If I didn't move quickly and go where I needed to go, like, this would have been out of luck, okay? Again, don't go too dark because you won't be able, it's going to be really hard for you to lighten this up because it's paper, you know? It's not like a regular canvas. If you're using a regular canvas, you can kind of make different mistakes and do different things, and you should kind of be okay, and it, it shouldn't be, like, a major issue. But, sis... <laughs> if you if you using this damn if you using paper, when I first started doing art, I used to use paper. Now I'm gonna hold you. I did. It. All right, so I'm gonna put a little bit of this coral kind of whatever light coral color, right about here. Again, we're gonna have to go back in with a, another coat. And right about here, if you hear any screaming, it's, it's my kids and my family. They're here doing the most. So I might have to mute my mic and, and start disciplining during the live stream. <laughs> I might have to start uh, disciplining and carrying on and showing out during the live stream. So get prepared, you guys. <laughs> Look at this dry already. But be careful. Don't continue to go ooh, 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 ooh. Keep because you see how it's starting to lift? That's because it's not fully dry. Just move on. Keep it moving. It's okay. It'll be all right. Don't panic. Everybody, don't panic. Just calm down. It's, it's going to be okay. You see, I haven't used any white. Again, black people don't need a lot of white. And she, well, it, her in particular, let's just say that. Because I can't say that. Because when I drew my, when I did my son's portrait, he's really light. He's light and bright. He's mixed with uh, Puerto Rican, Dominican, whatever you want to call it. And um, I had to use quite a bit of, of white. <laughs> I had to use quite a bit of, of white and, um, and some other colors and some yellows and stuff like that. So I can't say that all black people don't need white. But let's just say if you're going to do like a darker skin tone, you kind of sort of want to be careful. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to be going too light, you know? <laughs> Panic at the disco? <laughs> uh, exactly. I kind of sort of don't want to be going too light. Now, even if you're using like a canvas, let's say you're going with a canvas or whatever. I'm going to put, like, a lighter color on the eyebrow. 
because that's going to be really light anyway. Because it's supposed to signify the eyebrow, right? Like the brow bone, not the eyebrow. You know what I'm talking about. It's supposed to signify the brow bone. So we're going to put like a lighter version here. Turn up the music. Turn it down the light. Yeah. I got to sing my own songs because apparently <laughs> YouTube do, don't want people to live their best lives. Okay. And I'm blending as I go. That's why you kind of see me get quiet. Sometimes I forget, like, y'all are here. <laughs> it looks orange on the screen, but I promise you it's not as orange as it looks. Well, it has an orange undertone. Let's just say that. Just say that. Let's just say it. You know what I'm saying? Just say it. Turning up the music. You got to work quickly with this stuff because if you don't, you will be asked out. I'm telling you that right now. So work quickly, my darlings. What is going on? And I'm hearing all these sounds outside. I'm like wanting to be nosy. Like, what is happening? But yes, indeed. Today's prompt word. We're going to go in with different colors once we kind of block this thing in, y'all. Today's prompt word is cupcake. Turn out the music. The only thing, that, I mean, acrylics are a lot harder, but you get way more coverage quickly, and um, it's easier to kind of cover it up as you kind of do all the things. All right, so I'm going in with a lighter and brighter thing for her nose. Mm. Even though her nose really isn't that light, but I'm just doing it to give me kind of to give me like a guideline because if I don't do it, I will not I want it to be light and, and I won't be able to preserve the color that I want to preserve if I don't do it. I need it to be light. I don't want it to be too dark too quick. You know what I'm saying? Too dark too quick. It's dark. And turn down the line. Oh, and we got it's almost trivia time, y'all. So I hope y'all, I hope y'all know y'all art history for real. All right, so I want to get like I don't know what this color this is, but like a dark mauve color. So I'm gonna mix. <clears throat> let me show y'all really quickly. Um, I'm gonna mix. A little bit of this brown, the brown that I already have. Um, some of this quinacridone magenta. So it's gonna make me like a dark purple brown. I don't even know how to explain it, but you get it, right? And then I'm gonna go in and 
I'm gonna make another tone and I'm gonna add white. So I feel like that's two. And that's gonna give me like um hmm, how do I need to explain? It's like a pink brown. We need that pink brown on lines. We just do. Turn up the music. And that's the color I want. That's going to kind of give me like a mid-tone, possibly. Possibly. Let's see how dark it is. See, it's really dark. And it's dry already. Of course it is. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be dry already? It wouldn't be acrylic if it wasn't dry. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to add a little more white to it because I feel like that's way too dark. That's still a little too dark. That's kind of fine, maybe a little bit. We'll see. I just wanted something to kind of go right here. It looks way lighter than it is. I'm telling you that. Mm -hmm. Now I'm just blending out. Remember, things look crazy before they look good. So don't panic. Look, it's dry already. Of course it is. Of course it is. Away with you, acrylics. What in the world is going on outside? Hmm. What? All right, so I'm putting that at the bottom. Just to give like some shading to the bottom of the nose. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna make this a little bit darker. And as usual, we got to blend, 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 and blend, blend, blend. Just 
Trivia question. Yes, indeed. Trivia time. What is a primary color? Do, 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 do. <laughs> what is a primary color, you guys? Feel free to post it below. All right, and then Wawa, um, paint this eyelash or whatever you call it, eyelid. <laughs> Let's think about eyelash. That's one of the things I do like about acrylics is because you can do like one coat, two coats, and um, try your best answer below. <laughs> yes, indeed. You can do one or two coats and you can get like a good kind of like flow of things and, you know, it's all good. It's so good. And you don't have to necessarily use what I'm using as far as, um, like, the brush. You can use whatever you want to use. Now, if you are like more experienced person and you kind of know what you're doing, then you can go in with the darkest color, whatever you want to do, and you know how to like lighten and brighten it up and kind of get yourself together and yada, yada, yada. And yeah, more power to you, baby. But I like to go, for now, we're just going to do it as light as you can get it. That way you know, like, am I comfortable with the color? Do I feel great about this color? If not, let me go a little bit darker. You do it in increments so that you don't feel as whatever. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Turn down again. All right. And her lips is more I like natural color. So I'm gonna go right in with that um that mauve kind of like pink brown that we did. And I'm just gonna do her lips in that. We're just going to kind of go in with that. Because it needs to be like a natural color. So you don't want it to be like too much going on. If you're using a different medium, like watercolor, you want to leave the white spaces because it's going to be harder to lighten it if you're using, like, something different. Do, 
turn on a mirror. Turn down the light. That song is stuck in my head because I was dancing to that <laughs> earlier today. I'm going to add a little bit of white to it because I need it to be a little bit lighter. And that's not the color I want, so I added a little bit of pink to it. And really, this, the top lid was always a little bit more darker. So, there you go. So I'm going to make that a little bit darker. And I'm leaving that little bit of gap because I want to be able to go back and add uh, the crease of the lip. I don't know how to explain it, but it's hard to explain. All right, so I'm going in with that darker color. And the blue and the brown. Turn up to me in it. <laughs> so I'm going in with that. And coming back in, fixing her eye. Turn up the music. Obviously, that song stuck in my head. It's living rent-free in my head. <clears throat> I was watching this show on... Um, what the hell is it called? It's called... I was watching this show on um, HBO Max called White Lotus. And honey, that show was something else.
I mean, penises was out, all sorts of stuff was going on. And I was like, wait a minute, am I watching a porno or what? <laughs> did I request porn? No, I did not. Okay. I don't know what was going on. I was traumatized. Um, I, I don't think I've ever seen them even do uh um what do you call it uh uh whatchamacallit uh a show where the man whips his penis out unless it's a damn porno um and I was like uh uh-uh. uh no no ma'am I was like I did not request this I had to check and make sure I wasn't on Pornhub. <laughs> like, what is happening? And I'm like, wait a minute. I forgot that HBO Max, uh, H- not, not HBO Max, but HBO. I forgot that they um, own Cinemax, which is an R-rated kind of like soft whatever you want to call it, like soft, like weird, porny. I said porny. (laughs) Oh, man, I can't. A soft porny. (laughs) Oh, man, I I can't do it. I just can't. (laughs) Are you porny? Oh man, I can't just <laughs> like just stop there, yo. Just stop. We can't. <laughs> oh man, it's funny. Anyway, <laughs> uh, I forgot that that was like a soft, uh, you know, it was like a um. Like a porn thing back in the day. Like it was like where you got all your like PG porn. I don't even know how to explain it. Anyway, I don't even know how we got in the conversation about porn. But I was just thinking about I had to share the trauma because I was traumatized. Okay. She was traumatized. (laughs) Trying to figure out what in the hell is going on here. She was like, no, ma'am. Okay, no ma'am. Thank you. No ma'am. So then I left that show alone for a while because it's called White Lotus. It's not a porn though. Um, but you would think it was because they were just doing too much. I never seen no man show a penis. It might have been a prop penis. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Help me now. I can't. They were like, um, were you talking about penis on your live stream? <laughs> oh, man. I can't. Um... But yeah, I was like, I I was like, times are changing. I had never seen nothing like that. Especially it's supposed to be like from a, a well-known actor or whatever. I was like, mm. I was like, sis, they must be paying y'all some good money for that piece. Or maybe it was like a it was like a stunt double. <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine looking for a stunt a stunt double? <laughs> yeah, that's what I was like. Is it a prop? What is it? And it was like it was like all pink and like weird. I was like, what is it? What is, is it a prop? <laughs> I was not prepared. I'm thinking I'm about to watch some drama. We about to see a good thriller. Somebody about to die. Something. No, in the middle of it. He just whipped the penis out. I was like, oh, what is happening, sir? Are you insane? 
what are you doing? We was not prepared, and frankly, I didn't want to see it. <laughs> I was like, I don't want to see that. That don't look good to me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm going to use this pencil to go in and kind of define her lip. But yeah, that's what I was I've been doing. Trying to figure out when the hell did uh <laughs> HBO Max turn into to something weird and raunchy like HBO after dark. Those of you that know know. You feel what I'm saying? All right, the face is kind of doing whatever. We're gonna move down to the neck again. We're just blocking things in, and then we're gonna I'm gonna do the head wrap, and then we're gonna go back and do our details and our layering and things like that. Yeah, I was like, uh-uh. I don't know what's going on, but yeah. I'm just using that same color that I've been using. But, matter of fact, I'm going to go a shade darker. So, I'm going to add a little more brown with the same kind of black mixture. So, you can see it's a little bit darker. Her neck is going to be a little bit darker because that's the way it is. Like, it's going to seem like you're tucking it in. You know what I mean? And really, I'm probably going to have to go in and make it even darker because once I add the more color to her face, make her face darker. <clears throat> once I make her face darker, I'm going to end up having to go back and do her neck. But now this will do... I kind of wiped off the excess because, yeah, it makes sense. Make it make sense. You know what I'm saying? All right, so I'm adding a little more lighter color. I'm just going back and forth between that same kind of mixture I was already doing, which is the yellow ochre, the quinacridone magenta, a little bit of white. I kind of put the coral away. I, pr I probably should go back in and do the coral just so you can have the same exact kind of mixture and it's not like a thing. You know, mm 
All right, so I'm going to blend this in so I make it look like her neck actually goes. And voila. It's like magically in there. Yeah. <laughs> and there you go. All right, so we did as much coverage as we could do there. It doesn't matter how much detail you, like if you print this out, if you have my printable, like you're a patron and you have my printable and you will print this out and you put all the little designs on her head wrap or whatever, which you can use any designs you want. The cupcake prompt, so you can use the cupcakes if you want. I don't know why my volume keeps going down, so, so sorry. And it doesn't really matter what you put because we're going to cover most of this up with the color yellow. Because the head wrap itself, if you really break it down in parts, let me show you that. If you really break it down in parts, the head wrap for real is, um, and I'm just going to add that right into that skin mixture. We got a little bit over here, so let's just do that. And... And yeah, if you really break it down into parts, the whole head wrap is yellow. The only thing is it has lots of design on it. So don't get distracted by the design. Just really focus more so on um, the color itself. So let's block in that full color first. Let's block that in. That's pretty much what I'm going to be doing. Seems like you're amazing. And just start anywhere. It doesn't really matter. I just wanted to get some sort of... Um, and the good thing about yellow, again, you see what I said about it doesn't really matter how much design you have on your thing because the good thing about yellow is that it's really, really transparent. So it doesn't really matter what you do. It's You're going to need to put several coats anyway. And if you have craft paint, which is like a cheaper, more economical one, you're going to have to put even more coats. So just keep that in mind, you guys, as you kind of flow through this and do your thing. And you see this stuff dries so quickly. I didn't even have to in here. I'm actually going to make this a little bit darker, a little bit darker. So I'm going to add a little burnt sienna to make it darker. I'm actually going to make it darker right in here. Because this actually has to have like a fold in it. I don't know how to explain it, but it does. And even if it overlaps into your portrait, that's fine. Because again, it's super um, transparent. So it's not going to make that big of a difference for real. You'll be able to see whatever you're doing, whatever you're trying to do. And keep it moving. And just add like different whatever. So I'm going to put white on this side because this is going to signify like the outside of it. Signify the outside of it. And then add as you go. Add more yellow. Whatever you see you need to add yellow, just add it. And the more you add, the more you're going to lose your pattern. So just think about that, you know. If you know you're comfortable kind of putting your pattern back, go ahead and do it. But yeah.
Mm -hmm. Turns down the lights. All right, so this is going to be a fold right here. This is signifies a fold, so I'll put in a darker color. All right, we're going to make that. That's going to be our fold. Yeah. You can kind of make this. The whole thing is fine. It's fine. It doesn't matter what type of yellow you put on it. It's fine. As long as you have it in yellow. The problem with paper is not very forgiving. So it's not like you can go back in and make major, major changes. Like, if you if you happen to paint this whole thing black, but you can paint this whatever color you want to paint it, for real, because it's your painting. But if you happen to go in and you paint this a different color, you know what I mean? And that's a different thing altogether. Turn down the music. I'm adding more water and stuff like that to it, too, to make it where it's not, like, as transparent. You're not going to be able to see all the way down to my paper, but <clears throat> I added more water because that was ridiculous. All right, so right up here is going to be white. This is going to be, like, a, a light yellow. Let's just say that. Gonna be almost white. Cause that's supposed to be like the top of the fold. I don't know how to explain it, but you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying, okay? I'm like, stop playing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, girl. It's about that time. Turn down the music. And remember, guys, even if you, it's like no pressure, like any of this stuff, but if you don't get a chance to submit any art today, the art channel, as long as you're in the Discord, is always going to be open. So you could always um, submit at any time, and we will catch it on our next live stream. So no pressure, no pressure. And see, everything looks a hot mess, but it doesn't matter, does it? Does it, okay? All right, let's wash out our brush. Wash it, wash it, wash it. Turn in amazing. All right, so it has like a a thing in here. Um, She has like a, a, like a gold... I don't even know how to explain it, but it's like a somewhat like a gold headband on. So I'm just going to mix a little bit of brown and like yellow together. And it's going to kind of sort of give me what I want. See? Yeah, that, that works. And it, that kind of looks like the gold headband she has on in the photo moto you know it looks kind of yellow but yeah yeah
As long as you make it darker than the headband, I mean, than the head wrap, you should be good to go. As long as you make it darker than the head wrap, you should be good to go. Or you could just make it, like, brown if you want to. Like, we can go a little bit darker if we need to. Could just make it brown, honey. So I did a little bit darker. And there you go. Voila. So, see, you don't have to have a lot of money to kind of make beautiful art. You could do it right from your sketchbook. You don't have to be buying a bunch of canvases if you can't really. You know what I mean? Like, we're getting to a point where, like, we damn near almost going through a recession. So, you know, people ain't going to be having. I Even I found it, like, a lot easier just to, like, do a lot of drawings and, and doodles. And especially when you're first starting out, you really don't want to be spending, like, hundreds of dollars on expensive stuff. When you're not even sure if you even want to be an artist, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know how to explain it, but I right, am mixing that dark color again. We're going in with that. Because I need to actually do something. So we're mixing that. And I actually need this to be a little more darker. Yay. Yay. Clay? Mm, no. Hey, Leo lady is in the his house. What's popping, honey? Is it Clay? What do you mean? No. <laughs> you mean this? This is um this is my palette, my Masterson Stay Wet palette. Or maybe y'all, you guys are talking amongst yourselves. Is that what you're doing? Maybe y'all talking amongst yourselves, and I'm like, mm, what? Huh? Maybe I walked in in the middle of a conversation. Okay. So right here, I'm going to make this super dark in here. Because this has to represent like a fold, right? And in order to do that, we need to give the illusion like, yeah, it's the darkness of the inside of a fold. And that's probably a little too dark, but that's okay. Because we can go back in and, and do something else if we don't like it. You know what I mean? We can always do something else. Mm-hmm. Tune down the music. I could always add some brown to it. That'll lighten it up a little bit. And it's just not, you know what I mean? So now it's just like the dark brown. Mm, put that there. Oh, you did the trivia? <laughs> oh, that's a trivia? Oh, I must have missed the trivia question. And I'm putting the brown right about here. And this is all to, like, give the illusion, like, this is, like, her, her head wrap is, like, lifted. I don't know how to explain it, but... You guys know what I'm talking about. As a matter of fact, I need this to be a little bit higher. So I'm going to put that in. That's a little bit of a darker brown. Right, and there you go. Hmm. 
Yes, indeed. But if you guys are here in the live chat with me, definitely feel free to grab your sketchbooks and paint along. Paint along, honey. You can always go back with that same color that the head wrap is supposed to be. And you can back some of that color up that's in there. So you don't feel like, oh, damn, that looks messy. All right? Just back some of that color up. It doesn't matter. And you can, like, you know what I mean? So now her head wrap is really coming together. It's starting to get volume. It's starting to look like, oh, boom, there's folds. There's things going on. So this is why we're kind of doing, playing around with the dark and the light of things. And I'm still going in with that dark brown color. And I think I'm running out of paint. So I'm going to have to, like... I'm going to take this same color right down... Right down her thing. Same thing here. I'm going to go right in with this dark brown. Because I need it to look like, you know what I mean? Like, this would not be totally flush to your face, right? Think about, like, if you had this on your face, if you had this draped across your face, this would not totally be on your face like that. You know what I'm saying? You would not. Like, you would have room there for your hair. Maybe you got your headphones in. So, let's. Let's kind of think about that, right? Painting looks gorgeous already. Ew. Thanks, honey. I appreciate you. Hopefully, we can get it together. We're making progress. I think we made I think we're making good progress because. Usually gouache takes a whole lot longer, you know what I'm saying? It takes a whole lot longer. I'm just putting a little bit of this in here. I'm just popping things in where I see them. So sometimes it may not make any sense, but it will. I kind of go with it. It might not make any sense. You got to sing to it. <laughs> it may not make any sense. But it will. It will. Mm. All right, I need to go in with this yellow, and we need to add some more yellow to this area here. There you go.
Now, usually this is like the mid, almost ugly stage, weird stage of the painting. Um, uh, one out of three ain't bad. Y'all out there doing the trivia? I miss it. But yeah, um, usually, let me see. I want to see if I can go in here. Do I have a black? I, I could have swore I had a black one. Do we have some black? Like, oh my god. Oh my god. You know, I gotta pull out my Posca pins, y'all. The Posca is never too far behind. <laughs> never too far behind. Um, I thought I had a different pin. I guess not. Maybe not. Oh, wait. Here we go. All right. So here we go. Very nice. She has pretty big eyes, which is nice. Very nice, beautiful eyes. So I'm just going in and kind of correcting some of the stuff, adding the dark back in. That's kind of what I'm doing. Exactly. The ugly stage of the painting is normal. I need to put that up because sometimes people be like, <clears throat> people, it's hard. It is. It is a normal progression of the painting, darling. Normal progression of the painting. Okay. So we're doing semi-realism, so I'm trying to stick to doing realistic colors and not really um, going in and outlining a lot, because you guys know I'm the, I love a good outline. But I'm going to put that in. <laughs> yes, we all. I know I love a good outline. Stop playing. All right. The more realism, the better. And this is supposed to be a lot wider. So let's make it wider. And there you go. Alrighty, Leanne. It's looking good. So far, it's looking good. It's looking good. Now, in case you guys did not know, uh, I just released something super duper fun for you guys. For those of you that are interested in my drawing, I know a lot of people always ask me, how do you draw it? Like, are you drawing it? Are you tracing it? Are you like doing all the things and blah, 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 blah. I get this question on a regular, regular basis. So I created a little like drawing class 
sort of thing, thing, thing. And it is now featured on my Patreon. Um, and there you go. Yeah. So I created the course. I put up, I just put up the first one and it has this, it's, it's basically this lady and I draw it out. I show you the whole process behind the scenes, step-by-step -step process. And it's $10 a month and you get like a couple of tutorials a month. Plus you find out all of my behind the scenes, my traceables, my tips, my tricks. I tell you one of some of my favorite drawing books, some of the stuff that I still use to this day, as well as I give you some inserts of some of the books and some inserts on how to actually begin to draw and all the stuff. So definitely head over to patreon.com slash creative girl with color if you want to support or you want to learn how to draw and all the things. I'll put up the um, more pictures and stuff. And you see, I haven't even had to dry. Look at this. Because this acrylic, honey, the acrylic, honey. Okay? So anyway, um, yeah, I know a lot of people struggle with the drawing aspect. And a lot of people are always asking me how you draw. I don't really like doing it live because I like to take my time drawing. I have my own way of doing it. But if you like my style of painting, you like the way I draw, you like the way my portraits look, then you should definitely follow along and, and do all the things because I give you the whole process. And rambling and all. <laughs> you get the rambling and all. So I'm not going to make any extra... I don't even know how to explain it. I'm not going to put any extra layers on top of this yellow piece. So I'm kind of jumping around and then we're going to get back on the portrait and we're going to go and I just want to put like some of the details into this head wrap because that's just how my brain works. It's just like, mm, yeah, okay, I need to not use this. So this is one of the pencils that I use on a regular basis. I, I've been using this all day. So I'm going to use a red Posca pen. I'm going to go in with the red bits that belong on this scar. Just to kind of give me some peace of mind. That's all it is. Um, because then my mind won't be going. And I'm like, why Why does this thing look half done? What's wrong with it? So I'm just going in. This is, what is it? What is it? It's a, I don't even know. Because they come in different millimeters. So this is like a small one, but not the smallest one you can get. 1.3, I think it is. It's pretty good. I love these Posca pins. They're pretty opaque. You get all the things with them. So, yeah. So, yeah. And if you're not, like, like say you're not steady or whatever, you know what I mean? Or whatever. For whatever reason, you know, you. I know I like to use these because they're really convenient and they're really opaque and it's good quality paint. So, there you go. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, I'm just going in. I don't know if you, you guys probably can't see the full photo, but you can see right here, she has all of these red kind of like faint whatever lines in her thing. Again, you don't have to do this. This is kind of optional. But, I mean, if I drew it in, I'm going to do it. <laughs> Okay, I drew it in, so I'm gonna do it. We're doing it, okay. I don't know whether I want to make this red or not. I know when I drew this in, I did have this red, but I probably won't leave it red. I'll probably go back in because I'm trying to keep it realistic. But I mean, you could still have something like this, and it's realistic though, so you know, it's not set in stone. Again, no one is going to come to your house and be like, oh, my God. Oh, my God, girl. That looks like shit. You need to get away. <laughs> Nobody's going to come to your house and say that. Okay? So do what you want. It's your painting. You know, we're just living in it. Nobody's going to come to your house and scold you if you don't do, like, the proper colors or whatever. Just do whatever you want. 
I'm just showing you the technique and then you take it to the next level and do whatever you want to do with it at that point. <clears throat> not coming exactly. The popo will not come a knocking. Okay, they are not gonna be like, oh hell no. You made that red. You you gave that that um head wrap a, a red lining since you going to jail. They do not care. <laughs> like, we do not care, okay? Because it kills me. I, I know some channels, not some channels, but I've known people who teach certain things. They're like, oh, you can't use that color ever. You know, that color is forbidden. Like, if you don't sit down, that color is not forbidden. It's forbidden for you. Just say, I don't like that color. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, just say, I don't like that color. You don't need to be, like, doing extra. As <clears throat> I tell people in the heartbeat, I don't like that. That's, that's ugly. I, that's my preference. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> I will. I will tell people in a heartbeat, like, sis, I do not care. I don't like that color. I don't like that brand of paint. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody know I don't really like, um, uh, craft paint like that. I really don't. I'll use it. Like, if I'm doing a paint party or something like that, I'll use it, but I don't like it like that. I really don't. I think it's like watered down. I think it's real cheap. I don't like it. But I definitely will will use it if I have to. And I know a lot of people who, who paint. um, Not paint, but you know what I mean. Like, um, yeah, yeah, paint. That do art or whatever. And, um... Now, if you don't want the, the, the red to be this vibrant, you could always get you you wouldn't have posca pen. Most most people wouldn't have posca pen. Just use a darker red. You don't have or a lighter red. Like add more white to the red, and then you'll get like a lighter red and it won't be as vibrant. I like vibrant colors, so that's why it's gonna be this red. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. Okay. Like, mm -hmm. but anyway, I know people. I do know people who. I'm just adding more of these like squigglies. I don't know how to explain them, but I do know a lot of people, a lot of artists who, um, who make dope art with just a um, craft paint. I could think of a few right now that do um, some dope pieces. So don't let, you know, your the type of materials that you use and stop you from doing great work, you know? That's not really the deciding factor. It's really, it's all about your skill level for real that's going to stop you, right? So... Like if you if you're not that if you're not that skilled, you're not really that good at drawing stuff like that. That's probably gonna stop you from maybe making something that's like whatever you know museum ready. I don't know how to explain. <laughs> that's ready for the museum, sis. Okay, just just whatever. It's it's not museum ready. Okay. <laughs> 
It is not museum ready. All right, that's all you need to know. It's not museum ready. So anyway, um, sorry I'm not explaining as much and I'm moving kind of quickly because I'm like, yeah. Because I will yap and not get no work done, for real. And his hair in the painting, of course. Um, but yeah, you know, you're not going to be able to do everything with the craft paint, but you can damn sure try. I'm going to tell you that much. You can damn sure try. Oh, I kind of like that. I like it. Happy accidents, right? Am I right? Happy accidents, am I right? Anyway, you'll be surprised. Sorry, my big hand is in the way. I had somebody complain about my hand. <laughs> in another video, they was like, your fat hand is always in the way. Like, okay, what you want me to do with my hand, sis? You want me to, like, cut my hand off so you can... I can't help my hand is big. <laughs> I was like, damn, your fat hand is in the way. Why I gotta be all that? I swear, people don't be knowing what to say sometimes. <laughs> people really just don't be knowing what to say. Exactly, they did. <laughs> Exactly. I didn't even answer her. I just let her say whatever she wanted to say. I was like, okay. Excuse me? I can't do nothing about my fat hand. You know what I'm saying? Like, it is what it is, sis. It is what it is, okay? <laughs> but she was too through with me. I was like, okay, well... <laughs> Ma'am, I can't help you. You know what I'm saying? All right, I need another... What was I using? Was I using this? No, we wasn't. Let me see. How how dark is this? Oh, this is kind of dark. We can kind of do that. I don't think it's dark enough, though, but we'll put it in there anyway. I was going to use my other sketchbook. But I was like, no, I don't really like that other sketchbook. It's about Arteza. Cheaper is not always better, y'all. Okay. I was like, ooh, this is going to be so good. I'm going to save so much money. Yeah, right. Good. She exactly. Yep. They need more um rocks in their life. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. I was like, what? I was like, it's it's excuse me. I was like, okay. Oh, uh, this obviously is not the channel for you. I get it, though. People wanted to see the information or whatever, and I had my hand in the way. Sometimes I forget that my hand is in the way, so I'm sorry if I be doing that, y'all. 
it happens. I can't help it. So this is all acrylic. It's starting to look a little graphic -y though. So I'm like, mm, are we loving that? I think I am loving that. But I don't want nobody complaining because people was like, um, you said it was going to be like hyper realism and it looked like it belonged on SpongeBob. <laughs> Oh, man, I can't. Like, sis, I did not tell you all that. I did not. Did that? Did that? <laughs> did my freaking title in my video say you're going to get fucking hyper realism? <laughs> hyper realism from the damn, uh, like, Picasso style portraits over here? No, I did not. I did not say that. So just stop. And there I go. Uh, she was out of pocket. Yeah, she was. But, I mean, when you have, like, a YouTube channel, you're going to meet all sorts of freaking crazy-ass people that be saying crazy stuff as if you're not normal. Like, as if you're not um all right so i'm gonna make her face a little bit darker i like the kind of graphic whatever that we have going on right there i like it we're loving it yes we are i'm liking the design on her thing so i feel like the rest of her needs to be darker, though. I do feel that way. So I'm going to grab my flat, my flat brush again. If you happen to be doing this, especially upon the replay, make sure you change out your water once you get to this point because my water is pretty dirty. Stretch. Take a deep breath. Or take a break, okay? Do something with your life. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go in with something a little bit darker. Um, I got the fan on too. So it's drying out everything that I have on my palette right now. That was really smart. <laughs> that was really smart. It was like, oh, put the fan on and, and let it flow on your palette. That's going to make your day. <laughs> Exactly. That hand produce. Oh, thank you. You see what I'm saying? Oh my God. Thank you. I appreciate it. Like, sis, I'm just trying to help you out. And you gonna insult my hand? She ain't doing nothing to you. <laughs> All right, so I'm off to the side, kind of gathering my paint and stuff like that. I should have been taking photos to put it up, but here we are. Okay, here we are. All right, so I'm going to be mixing into this brown because she has like a darker skin tone and I want to be true to that. I don't want to lighten her up, you know what I mean? Like wash her down. I'm not trying to do that. I was just trying to start from like a lighter whatever, whatever and keep it moving. But I'm really liking this character. What would we name her? What would be her story? I want you guys to make it up. Even if you happen to be on the replay. Sorry, my alarm is going. Even if you happen to be on the replay, what would her story be? Where is she going? What is she doing? I'm going to add a little bit of yellow ochre and let me see. I still feel like that's too dark. So 
we're gonna go with this color here because this is a little bit lighter again it's gonna darken up so it's fine I'm kind of looking at what she has going on here. That's still dark enough, I feel. Try not to put too much water on it. Put too much water in it, and then it turns into a thing. Yeah, I'm gonna put some yellow ochre. I kind of got a feeling for her face, so I'm okay with it. We're darkening things up. Sorry, I'm trying to kind of work quickly. So that's why I'm really quiet right now because I'm trying to concentrate. And I want that hard line over there. And you know it's paper, so this thing will try to dry out and do other nonsense that I don't want it to do. So that's a definite. <clears throat> we need kind of like a darker color anyway. So I'm putting like this darker color right here just to signify
No, no, bub, I'm live. I'll see you in a minute, okay? All right, bye bye. <laughs> Dude, they get restless. They're like, um, what are you doing? It's time for dinosaurs and other activities, sis. Okay, that's what it's time for. Not to be, not for you to be live, okay? <laughs> All right, so I'm still going in with this like dark color. Again, I'm moving quickly, adding burnt sienna. I ran out of my um. My regulars, uh, this needs to be there. I usually like to go slow and take my time because y'all, I want to make sure y'all kind of get the information. So I'm doing like a darker color right about here. Because the forehead, okay, right around here at the top of the forehead is going to always be a little darker anyway. Because it starts to like round out. I don't know how to explain it, but even if you look at your own forehead, it's always going to be a little darker right there. And then I'm kind of just blending it out. And yeah. Yes, indeed. If you guys are loving it, go ahead and hit that like button for me and subscribe and all the things. All right, so I'm just blending out a little bit. I'm blending her out, blending her out. And then I'm going in a little bit lighter. I'm moving a little quicker this time. So a little bit of a lighter brown that I put right here. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I'm going to put the remainder of this here in her chest area. In order for things to look more realistic, it's very important that you add layers. I'm going to turn this light out because things are looking a little orange. Things are looking orange.
And I'm carving out her neck again. Carving out the neck again. So this is always going to be a little bit darker. So there you go. Yes, and thank you for the thumbs up. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for the thumbs up and the shares and all the things. Yes, indeed. Okay. Going in, adding this. And this. I'm just going in and I'm putting... Kind of like shadow where I see it's already in the photo. So I'm going in and kind of putting that in. All right, and then we need to take a quick two-minute break and stretch and all the things. And, yeah, and we will be right back after these messages. <laughs> after these messages, right? Let me see. Wait, hold, hold on a minute. Almost at the finish line. We're just doing all the things, filling in all the things that we need to fill in. And I had some. This is a little bit lighter. I could kind of go in. And I think I'm going to fill this in just a little bit right here. Because near the cheekbones, that's going to be a little bit lighter. So I'm going to go in and actually fill that in. Now, 
the key to this is is making things look like um this is kind of like the color I wanted anyway. Um So the key to this is basically layers. Layers, layers, layers. It's all about the layers. I'm going to blend that out just a smidge. I like my things to be smooth. That's why I do a lot of blending. If you don't like that, then you don't have to blend as much as I do, but I have to do that because um, it's like really important to me. <laughs> it's really important to me. So you got to do what you feel like is going to be important to you to kind of get the results that you're trying to get pretty much. That's kind of where I'm at with it, okay? Um, so I mixed this, like, side color. I don't know how. It's a little bit too dark. So I'm going to go in with a little more light yellow. But again, you don't have to use these colors that I'm using. You can use any color that you want to use. These are just the colors that I want to use. Um, So if you're going for realism, that's what you would do, right? You would go and you would do these sorts of things. You would do these sort of things, things right? Uh oh, I like my thing. <laughs> And I'm just going to mix it and keep it moving. Again, you got to move quickly when you're dealing with paper because that bad boy will definitely dry up on you. If you, don't, <laughs> if you don't get on it quickly, it will dry up on you, honey. And kind of got to go back in. And we got to get this at the same time. We're going to blend, blend, blend. Yeah. So all about your blending game. How's your blending game? Have you checked your blending game lately? <laughs> Have you checked your blending game lately? Have you checked your bending game? All right, so I'm getting darker 
Again, I'm moving quicker and quicker as we kind of flow through this part because I don't want things to dry up on me. And then I'm like, um, excuse me? <laughs> I'm like, hello? Why you look like that? <laughs> I definitely don't want that. And it's a little darker over here on the side than up here. Right on the cheeks. I'm going to put it about right here. And I'm going to blend, blend, blend. We're going to blend as we move. That's the key to blending, my darling. Blend while you go. Blend and go. Blend and go. Blend and move. Stick and move. That's what you got to do. Uh, I'm just doing like a light color here. Because I still want to be able to see the bridge of the nose, but I don't want to totally cover it up. And it's kind of like glazing. It is kind of like a glaze, right? I want it to have a glaze, so that's why I'm doing it that way. Stick and move. All right, so... I'm making this a little bit lighter because, again... I feel like it needs to be a little lighter. And I'm taking my finger and kind of rubbing things out as we see fit. All right, I'm gonna end up having to put some more paint out Because that's my issue. I'm running out of paint. I'm running out of paint. All right. So I'll put some more yellow ilka out. The ilka. And... Rub that out. Make sure there's nothing weird going on. Ooh. I put some of that coral stuff out. Some of this stuff. And some of this. Aunt Sienna. And I'm going to spray my palette. I probably need to move my fan so I'm not having these issues. Daddy? Close the door. <laughs> All right. I need to fix her lips, though. I really do. Yeah, we're just going here. Yeah. 
I'm just testing out that paint to see if that's what I want. That's what I do sometimes. Like, is that really what I want? I don't know. We don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Where were we? Hmm. That's way too dull. I use my fingers in a lot of my art. That's just the way it is. Does it make sense? All right, while that gets itself together, let's do the lips really quickly. And, yeah. <laughs> I can't. All right, so her lips is pretty, like, it's pink, but then it's not. I don't know how to explain it, but I need some actual pink. That's what I need. Some actual pink pink. Some actual pink. Found it. Okay. So, we put out some of this. And I'm put out some of this pink paint. Mix it in with the brown. I'm going to get a little bit of this coral going. And that should kind of give me what I want a little bit. I feel like that's a little too pink, but okay. Um. I'm just playing around with these different colors on her lip. And then we still want it to be kind of pink at the bottom.
That's too white. It's kind of the only time you would do like white. You need to be able to like lighten her lip up. Especially if you made it too dark. Lighten the lip up. That's too pink, though, so. Way too pink. That's going to end up drying up. Even if you make it too light, you could always go back, but she has this like white, I don't even know how to explain it, but it's like a white highlight. I'm just going in, like, putting things where I see them. I'm going in and I'm putting things where I see them. I don't even know I can explain it a little bit.
Alright, and I'm gonna put my dark. I'm jumping around, y'all. Jumping around. I'm jumping around. Putting back my like dark stuff that I had in her eye already. That's what's good to do the details once you're kind of like I don't know you're you're good. You can kind of go in and do the details. I don't know what the hell is going on with her lips, but that ain't it. <laughs> that is not it. It's not it, sis. It's definitely not it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now, if you do this at home, are you doing it with me? Um, you want to definitely take your time with this. It's a journey. It's not a marathon, right? It's definitely a journey. Usually, you could come back to this over, like, several days and do it, even though we're doing it right now in, like, one sitting. But, yeah, this is definitely something. I'm just coming in, putting in her, um, the shadow on the side of her face. I mean, the side of her nose. That's what I'm putting in. And then she has another one over here. But move quickly. Try the best you can to move quickly, especially if you do if you're dealing with uh, paper. Like if you're doing this with paper, do it definitely move quickly.
And blend as you go. Blend as you go. Blend, blend, blend. Blend, blend, blend. And then I'm going to go a little bit darker here in the crease. He has like, it's like really dark right there. So we're going to go a little bit darker. Now that we've built out like quite a bit of whatever, right? Mm, let's see, let's go in here. Turn this off. Oh no, I don't think that makes a difference. That's my TV. I was like, what in the world? What is happening? Now I'm just sculpting the nose and doing all the things. All right, so that is that. And then we're going to go under the nose. This is what it takes if you want to capture realism. I mean, if you're really not going for realism... Then that's not something I don't think you need to worry about. But if you're trying to capture kind of like realism, yeah. Unfortunately, you're going to have to go in and really do your thing with this. Really go in and get those shadows, get the highlights, get all the things. You got to do it. So you can imagine what people go through that are actually, uh, I'm going to put a little more highlight here. Because there is quite a bit of a highlight right there. And he also has something here. I'm just capturing kind of what I see. And we're going to go in with like a darker color. I'm going to go right up under this nose right here just because we need to make sure that that blends in. But yeah, if you're going to do realism, I mean, oh, what I was trying to say is imagine with those people that do... Um, those hyper realistic portraits where you can see like every pore and every this and the that and the blah 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 blah. Um, this is what they do. They painstakingly kind of go in and they do all of this stuff. They fix everything, this and the that and the blahs and the blah. They they fix it all. I'm not going in with white. I'm going in with that coral color, and I'm just. This is where craft paint kind of shines because because it's not as pigmented and it's like on the cheaper side. Um. 
you can do like quite a bit of stuff with it and then it, it will just fade. So you could do like little highlights and whatever, making her lips super white like she's a crackhead. <laughs> Woo! Doing a little crack, are you? Hmm? We knew something was going on, sis. We knew it. Uh, yeah. Put this there. <laughs> exactly, like you're doing a little something, something, are you? Hmm. We knew something was happening. I wonder if any any of you guys seen that movie, New Jack City. I think I'm telling my age for real. That was my movie back in the day. I was really young when it came out, but still, I really liked it. It was like a, it was, it was a jam for real. I'm not even going to lie to you. I was really young and it was like hard to get, grasp the concepts of, um, Like some of the concepts, I will say it was kind of hard to grasp some of the concepts. But um, I was still kind of into it. I was like, mm, okay, okay, we making. What the hell do I have on my hand? Oh, okay, stop playing. Stop playing. Okay, stop playing. Um, all right, I'm going into this darker color. I'm gonna talk, try and talk and. <laughs> I'm going to try and talk. Oh. It was kind of hard to grasp the concepts of uh, New Jack City at, at first. I will say that, like, because, you know, you don't you don't really get all the little nuance. Because, I mean, Wesley Snipes was a full-blown adult by then. So I was like, mm. I don't really know what's going on, but he's fine. Somebody's fine over here. Uh, but it really taught you about stuff. It taught you about... Like the crack epidemic and what people was willing to do and da 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 da, and it made you like you was like, well, I don't know about y'all, but I was like, oh hell no, I ain't doing no drugs, I ain't doing it ever again. Well, ever again, <laughs> I'm never doing drugs. <laughs> Oh, yes, Alan Payne, like, stop playing. They was gorgeous. Come on, man. And that was during the era, like, um, New Jack City. Um, what was the other movie that came out? Boys in the Hood. Um... Um, what was it? Boys in the Hood. What was the other movie that was? Um, it was a bunch of movies that was by the, like the same directors, uh, Spike Lee, and the other guy that died. I forgot what his name is. Lord have mercy. But um, they did a lot of good movies. I'm not even gonna lie. And the good thing about the movies then is that it taught you a lesson, for real. Like, it taught you about, like, life and, 
Um, I'm just putting some dark stuff right about here. So a lot of this needs to be taken up back, taken in. I swear, a lot of the movies back then was like an after school special rolled up into like everything else. It was like, that's what it was all about. Exactly. I knew what he was talking about though. They was fine. But it was like an after school special rolled up into one. Like you said to yourself when you finished that movie, like, oh nah. You know, drugs are bad. I don't want to end up like them. <laughs> That's what you said to yourself when you was done with that. Like, oh, I don't want to end up like them for real. Like, stop playing. I know I did. I was like, uh-uh. No, ma'am. All right, let's put some eyebrows in. We're going into that darker color. I know this is a long one, you guys, but... You know, a lot of you people be like, oh, I wanted realism. You you know, you ain't, well, you getting it. So realism take a long time. Sorry, y'all. All right, so we're going to go in. I'm going to pop in these dark eyebrows once again. And she's coming to life, y'all. She's coming alive. Laugh, laugh. Yeah, realism, realism take a while. Even it's like I find myself playing around with the portraits after I'm done sometimes, because I'm like, oh, yeah, I needed to put that. I needed to do this. I should have, you know, I, I should have did that a little longer. So, yeah. Y'all getting the full Monty today, baby. And she's like, hello. All right, I need, I'm going in. Even my kids getting restless, like, um, excuse me. <laughs> Y'all gotta wait. Sorry, can't help you. Hopefully they don't kill each other. By the time I get off of here. <laughs> Hopefully they don't kill each other. Now I'm showing y'all what it takes to get realism. This is what it takes. And, you know, and I'm still trying to condense it down where it's not like insane and we're here for like five hours <laughs> i'm so sorry i'm trying to condense it down for y'all for real because uh regularly like if i do a regular portrait and i'm doing realism listen linda okay listen we're gonna be here we're gonna be here okay you might as well go ahead and just <laughs> get the blanket you know what i'm saying <laughs> get the blanket just stop playing you know you're not going uh, to be doing anything else for quite some time like I don't know what to tell you this is what the realism takes so I don't want to hear it especially people in the, re in the replay they're gonna be like um yeah like be complaining and stuff uh uh 
I'm giving it to you. Straight with no chase. <laughs> we raw dogging it. We're together now. <laughs> we are officially together. Okay? This is what happens. Y'all can always watch it in increments, though. Like, for those of you that, like, watching it on the replay, or maybe you can't stay the whole thing, you could come back and watch it in increments. I'm going to try to put timestamps in here so that you guys can be able to see what's going on. And this is why you can't put too much white in, in like, black people's. Um, whatever. Uh, let's see. All right. Uh, I need something a little bit darker. Hey, Daniela's in the house. Hi, Daniela. My name is Danielle too. But I got Dan. You know, my my spelling is different though. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Welcome. All right, so I'm blending, blending, and we're going. And we're going. Okay, and we're going. I'm going back in, reinforcing this uh, um, shadow, like stop playing. Okay, that's what we're doing. <laughs> I'm gonna have to issue some citations when I go downstairs though. Because these kids is going insane. I'm going to tell you that right now. Citations will have, will be happening. <laughs> citations will be happening. Okay? Looks beautiful. Thank you so much. I hope it does. I want to make y'all happy. Where it's going to be a different schedule for our live streams, too. I'm going to try to do mostly pre kind of like recorded videos from now on, you guys. But our live streams will still be on Sundays, 4 p.m. Eastern time. It's only going to be twice a month now instead of like every Sunday because I'm going to be starting to upload um, all the things. All right. So I'm going to switch back over. I'm going to switch over. To a Posca pen. Uh, something is driving me crazy. I don't know what it is. All right, wait a minute. Let's see. Okay, maybe that's a little better. Maybe that's a little better. Um, I need to go on and fix something going on. Something go I thought I had, so yeah, it's only going to be twice a month, but we're going to be doing lots of like reviews and, and a lot of other fun stuff. So it won't be that much of a loss, you know what I mean? Hopefully it won't be. <laughs> I hope it will be. All right, I gotta get my thing really quickly. Hold on. Mm 
Put this in her mouth. Put it in your mouth. Uh, I need to fix this really quick thing. Kind of erased half her nose a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna go back over here. Turn down the music. Turn down the light. I had to fix her cheekbone really quickly. And you might be better. I got to get this uh, pen, so let me go over here. And every time I'm like, oh, I see something else. And I need to fix this really quickly. Because now... Ah, that come from? Oh, shit. Look at that. All right, here we go. All right, let me put the, oh, I had some black. I'm gonna put a little bit of like the eyelash. A 
A little bit of an eyelash. I'm going to use this one here. Look, why not? That definitely sticks out like a... That's great, girl. I hope you enjoy your studies. So, toilet little vlog. Oh, I'm sorry I missed your conversation. I was trying to rush through. Thank you for coming through. I appreciate you. All right, I'm going to put a little bit of... Outline here. All right, I got to fix. I don't like this outline, so I'm going to remove it. And all I did was wet it, and it'll remove that outline. And shit for the most part.
All right, so I'm going in with like a lighter thing right here. And a little bit of a darker shadow here. Same thing here. And I'm going to take my black thing and we're going to go that's like creases in it. I mean, you could do this a hundred ways for real, but we're going to do it the dirty birdie way. <laughs> That's the way we're doing it today. Turn down the music. Turn down the light. No, that's not really what I want. So, there we go. It takes about, um, I would give it at least 48 to 72 hours for acrylics to completely dry. However, on paper, it's usually dry, you know, very, very quickly. Um, but if you got it on like, um, say you got it on, uh, hold up, let me try to get this color in there really quickly. While I'm thinking about it. But if you got it on a canvas or something like that, really take your time. And if you use a Posca pen, it takes even longer. It's not, it's not, it's just not fully dry for real. So really just take your time with it, especially if you're selling it. I made that mistake, and that was a very costly mistake. <laughs> that was a real costly mistake. It just was. Oh my God. I'm telling you. That was a real costly mistake for me. I was selling it. All right, so I'm happy with the face. Finally, we, I, I feel like we that's as close as we're going to get her today. I'm going to reinforce this darker... color right here. That needs to be a lot darker. But yeah, I made that mistake. 
I was using Posca pens. I did a commission. Russian, Russian, Russian. That was a mistake. And I ended up messing up that woman's painting. Thank God she was a, you know, a good collector. And she was super duper gracious and like understanding. And I mean, to the point she even paid for me to do an extra one. For real. <laughs> Okay, she paid for me to do an extra one. Like, okay. Uh, turn down the music. Let me see. Yeah, she paid for me to do an extra one, so that was really, really gracious of her. Because she didn't really have to do that at all, for real. She could have been nasty about it and been like, oh, hell no. <laughs> so take your time. This is why I say, you know, especially if you're trying to do realism. Don't let nobody rush you, even if it's a client. Just don't. Take your time and do whatever you got to do. Don't let people rush you into doing stuff that you're not comfortable with, for real. All right, cool, cool. Boom, blackout. We got the hair. Under control, I'm going to pop some, a little bit of color on this thing right here. And then we're going to be out of here, baby. But the funny thing, I didn't have to do any drying on this at all, for real. I need to fix her chin, but I didn't have to do much drying on that at all. Uh, hold up, I'm coming up. I'm looking for I'm looking for blue. I could have swore we had some blue. I ended up changing the color of her. Uh, I just had to fix her chin really quickly. Let it dry, do whatever it's doing right there. All right, cool. So now I'm going to put, I don't even know what this is. This is like a. I'm going to put some of this because this goes inside here. I'm going to put some of that in there. And we're just making things up as we go. Again, this is optional. You don't have to do this. You can really kind of just take your time and do whatever you got to do. Or make up your own pattern. Then the prompt word of the day is... I'm using my Posca pen like I do. And I don't know what color this is. It's like a light blue, electric blue, something like that. Light blue. Yeah, it's light blue. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And do the same thing here. Because it has a little bit of a color inside of it. So that's what we're going to do with there. Oh, she had a water spot. She has the water. And we have something here, but I need to go in. And this is still wet, but 
That's the fun part, putting the details in, right? Am I right? Am I right? <laughs> Am I the only one? This is the funnest part for me, the detail. Like, I'm the detail. I'm like one of those people, when I first started learning how to paint, if you don't have Posca pens, you guys know the drill. You don't have Posca pens, use your small brush, small detail brush, and then you can put these little details in or do whatever you need to do, but... Um, again, the prompt word is cupcake. So you can put little cupcakes in her thing. The um, reference photo is available in the Discord. Mm, I'm trying to figure out what was here. We got something there. We're going to intersect, baby, intersect. All right, I'm going to, I'm actually going to do like an outline really on her, her scarf right here. Just because I think it looks pretty. I don't know. I, I don't know. Again, this is all up to you, whatever you want to do. Like, you don't have to do that. You know what I mean? I'm going to add a little shadow here, but I'm going to wait until I finish this. Uh... Turn out the music. Turn out the light. Mm -mm. We can sing now that it's over. <laughs> God damn. Damn it. Damn it, Becky. All right. Oh, I messed up her face. Not today. Finally get it the way I like it. No, 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 no. Not today, baby. All right, I gotta go back in then. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Happy little face. All right. And then we have to put other things. I now have like a darker blue. This is a paint pen also, but it's an old paint pen. Damn, does it even work? It's really old, really old. I'm going to have to go in with regular blue paint then. Because it's like so old. You're like so freaking old. Let me tell you, I was on Twitter the other day. And this little teenager, she was like, oh, my God, you're, like, so ancient. <laughs> oh, man, if it wasn't so damn funny, I would have been insulted. I swear to God. Because that shit was funny. She's like, oh, so basically you're, like, ancient, right? Is that what it is? Like, you're, like, so fucking ancient. <laughs> I was like, okay. Thank you, I guess. <laughs> mm. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Oh man, that was so funny. It was real funny how she said that to me. I just couldn't believe it. Now, this is where you could, you know, go in and highlight like her face. You could try to keep it as real as possible and do all the things. Um, and actually, I'm gonna even 
Yeah, we're going to keep that. And that needs to be a way bigger shadow. A way bigger shadow, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. And you got to make sure you sign it. Mm. Put some more paint. It doesn't hurt to give it another coat. Nobody's going to come to your house and tell you put too many coats of paint on your painting. <laughs> okay? It's going to be okay. All right, nobody's gonna come and be like, "Yo, you put too many coats of paint on your painting, sir, sir, ma'am." Okay. If that's what you want to do, and guess what? If you don't like this, like color palette I've chose, you can even make your thing a whole nother color. So pretty, I know, right? Like, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, we can't forget the highlight in the eyeball. Don't forget your highlight in the eyeball. Um, oh, wait. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't believe she told me that I was like super old. I was like, okay, thanks. Thanks. Thanks so much. I appreciate you for letting me know that. I guess I no longer deserve to live now <laughs> because I'm I'm getting older. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> so freaking crazy. Okay. Uh, we got a little bit of highlight, but I need, I don't know what the hell happened. I had a, I had a white pen, so we're just going to go in with some white. Uh, don't kill me, y'all. I know we like four hours in, but I'm sorry. It had to be done. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to dab it. We're just going to dab it. We're going to go in. Ooh, I had too much water in my brush. Yay. Turn down the music. Turn down the lights. Mm. I'm looking at the reference photo to see where... It's too much water in that. Turn down the lights. Um, something's missing. Something's missing. What is it? We don't know. Okay. Shwala. Uh, what do we have left? Uh, just a little more highlight right there. And a little bit over here. Mm. 
Yes, indeed. Oh, you think it's perfect? Thanks, guys. I'm so happy. All right. All right, we're going to sign it. Step away from the painting, Danielle. Step away from the painting. <laughs> oh, wait. I got to put this one thing in, though. Like, don't hate me. I do. I have to put it in. I'm sorry. It needs to go in. It needs to go in. I don't think I have. It's like a... That's not even the blue I wanted, but it is what it is. And that doesn't even look as good, but you know what? We're going to roll with it, yeah? And I'm going to put this, make this a little darker. And yay, we're done. So you guys, oh my God. I don't know if anybody submitted anything over on Discord. I don't think we got any submissions or not. Um, do we get any submissions, um, V? I don't know if we got any submissions, but if not, we will continue the art submissions all the time. It will always be open if you if you head over to the Discord. Again, I just put out a drawing course, the drawing class on this particular portrait. So you can get that on my Patreon. I don't know where the top is to this. Um, and then last but not least, we got to sign it. We got to sign it. Where are we signing it? No submissions today. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, so well, again, it'll always be open. I'm going to sign it right about here. Always sign your work. I sign it right up against here. Creative Girl of Kula. And I like to put the date so that when I'm old and rickety, in my wheelchair, I can go back and see what's going on. Like, this is during my heyday. When I did that five-hour painting on YouTube. <laughs> oh, man, I can't. And that's it. I love you guys so much. Thank you for hanging in there. Give yourself a round of applause. I love you guys so, so much. I will be posting more on my social media. I will post this also on the Discord, post pictures of it afterwards. Of course, you know I'm going to do extra to it later. But, yeah, um, I'll post everything there and all the things. And I love you guys so much. I appreciate you always sticking in there and hanging in there with me throughout the whole live stream. That was, like, so dope. If you have any questions, this is a good time to pop them in now. Before we like log off and all the things, pop it in now. Pop it in. Other than that, I will catch you guys on the next one. Love you guys. Be safe out there. And bye.